Welcome to this KDE Tips and Tricks screencast and in this screencast I want to show you a nice little trick that might help you to go to your next, to, that might help you to uh, just yeah, ease the pain in configuration of multi-monitor support in KDE a little bit when you holding a presentation or something like this next time. So what I use basically is a keyboard shortcut which allows me to just simply switch or auto configure my monitor settings. So normally when you're holding a presentation on stage or something and the next speaker is going to come to the stage and you have to go quickly down the stage, um, what might be a problem sometimes if you just plug out the VGA or HDMI cable of your laptop and yeah, just KDE comes up with a nice little pop-up warning you, yeah, something's changed, uh, uh, the monitor is gone. But the problem in this dialog, just let me show you this dialog, it's simply accessible via the system settings. So opening up the system settings in here and going to display and monitor, it will show up this. Um, but you don't have the option then to disable the VGA1 output. So if you have clone modes or if you have uh, extended mode and your display is still extended um, but you don't have the cable plugged in, if this will be grayed out and you don't have the option to just disable it in the graphic user interface in here. So what I did is just simply create a shortcut which will help me through this dilemma. And the same shortcut works also well, very well if you just connect a uh, new monitor or something like this or a uh, project uh, beamer, something like this. And you can just hit this uh, combination and it will automatically fire up either extended monitor setup or it will fire up in clone mode or something like this, just like you want it to be, just like you would expect it to be. So it's a little trick, a little nifty trick, but you need to know the commands basically. And the commands that I use here are the xrender commands. So let me open up a terminal and show you how they look like. So man xrender, it's a command basically that you can execute also manually in your terminal or an alt f2 menu. And what you can do here is a lot of things. As you can see here, you have various different options here. Uh, just like for example, setting the rotation, setting the widths and heights, setting panning, prop, um, uh, you can set the output to auto preferred, you can set the position, the frame rate, the rate um, per left off or right off, uh, above or below and so on. So there are lots and lots of options in here and most of my graphics cards uh, nowadays just simply also work with X render. So there were problems with NVIDIA graphics, uh, graphics card and the NVIDIA driver, but uh, I think the newest driver just works fine with X render, with most of the X render options that are uh, available f from uh, X render, I think 1.2. So, what I had done now, or yeah, basically what, what I just created a shortcut is for X render slash slash auto, which is when you plug in something, it will just then. Uh, the auto configuration will just clone your laptop, uh, what you see on your laptop, also on the projector or on a different monitor and so on. And it, when you unplug it and run the auto again, it will just undo this. And this works pretty, pretty fine. And I just show you where to set this, uh, let me close this, where to set this global shortcut. Just go to your uh, system settings and then in here you have shortcuts and gestures and here you can see um, that there are two uh, shortcuts already set, global shortcuts for opening the terminal and a an, uh, file manager and I can just create a custom new shortcut by just clicking on edit, clicking new, glo new global shortcut and I want to just combine this shortcut with a command or URL and uh, let me just comment this, uh, X render X render auto config. I can also give it a name in here. X render auto, and I can uh, add a trigger in here. So uh, in my case, I want to trigger this with Control Alt and seven. Uh, Control Alt seven, and I have to give it an action name, a command, or something like this. As we saw before, it's just simply X render minus minus auto, 
and this will work then just fine. So if I had apply it here, when uh, pressing Control Alt and F7 and I've plugged in your monitor cable or something like this, it will automatically then reconfigure the um, whole displays. So both displays in sync in clone mode. Uh, this works pretty nice. I can also add, of course, another shortcut for like extending. This guy ha in this in this case, I have to just be specific to the output format. So if I have an HDMI output and an VGA output, I have to say uh, output so minus minus output VGA left off, and then my display. Normally, in this case, the internal display is called LVDS1. But to get a list of all the uh, cryptic names that or names that are cryptic to you uh, perhaps just type in xvendor and this will show you the currently available setup and as you can see my internal display is called lvds1 and it's connected of course because it's internal and has a resolution currently f uh, f uh, you can see the resolution <laughs> and you can see the various different resolutions I can set and in this case this is the one that I have set currently. Then you can see that I have different outputs in here like VGA1, I have an HDMI output also but they are disconnected and I have also DP1, uh, HDMI2, HDMI3, DP2 and DP3. Uh, honestly I don't know those outputs because I only have an HDMI output and a VGA output here. Uh, so there might be some internal usage for this, uh, like audio or something like this. Uh, so in this case, only those two are uh, very interesting for me. So if I want to ex have an extended mode, I have to give specifically the uh, the the uh, the name of the output that I'm using. So if I have something plugged in via HDMI, I have to give it the output uh, HDMI. So in this case, you can just um, uh, type in something uh, like X render output VGA one, and then left. Uh, it's called left off, left minus off, or something like this. Let me get to the man patch again. This is very helpful, by the way. The man patch uh, lists all the uh, various different options that are here. You can see it is uh, left minus off and left minus off and then lvds1 i can this uh, this can be assigned to another global hotkey just like for example control alt and f8 or something like this and then it will automatically switch to this output and kde is just resizing and, and mapping everything up the plasma desktop and so that this will fit in to the uh, yeah, overall uh, global look and feel and so on so this was uh, this screencast about my little trick that might help you uh, getting through your next presentation with uh, KDE um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed this screencast and yeah thanks for watching